This is Chandra Kankara. So today we are going to discuss 8th standard mathematics one chapter that is linear equation in one variable. So, so shall we begin? So now before going to this chapter, so some new concepts means some concepts we are going to discuss. Uh, you know that in alphabets, alphabets totally 26 alphabets are there in English language and all we are going to call as alphabets. So likewise, in alphabets, so we, uh, in maths also we are using alphabets. What we can say for that alphabets? Anyone? Anyone guess for that? What we can say that alphabets also we are using in mathematics? In some term, the indication of the group of the numbers, there we are using. And in algebra section also we are using. Example, x, y, z. So like this, we are using. So what we can say for that? What? Yes, that's a variable. So, so that's alphabets is called it as variable. So that variable along with variable and some numbers. The numbers is called it as constants. It's a group of numbers, variables and one expression means operation sign. So together it's called it as what? Linear equation, not only equation. Here... Uh, before going to tell meaning of the equation, so I will write in some terms, some terms I am going to write here. Uh, first of all, uh, so these are the x, y, z. So these are called as what? Variables. Now only I say, so these are all the variables. And numbers 1, 2, minus 3 and minus 5, these are all the constants. So constants, yes, and the operation sign, um, uh, so I told that basic operation sign, basic operation sign means plus, minus, multiplication, divided, so these are the basic operation signs. And, and now I told the uh, difference, so one new thing I am going to teach here, that is the equation. So what it mean by equation? So apart from equation, one more term is the expression. So what is the difference between expression and equation? You know that? Yes. That's a, if I am going to, I am, I am going to combine constant operation and variable like x plus 1. If I wrote only x plus 1, then it's a expression. It's called as expression. If x plus 1 is equal to the 2, this is called as equation. So, all of you got now. What, uh, so, what is the difference between expression and equation? Expression is not having any equal to e equal sign. It's not having anything, any terms to equal. So, that is called as expression. And that, uh, so, this one is, is equal to some term. So, this is called as equation. This is equation. This is expression. These are the variables. These are the constants. These are the basic operations. Stood? So one more time I am going to tell here. So listen, variable. What it mean by variable? Variable nothing but this is a alphabetical term and it's not having any particular value. Depend upon the equation it's having the value. Example, x plus 1 equal to 2. So what I should add to equal to? If I am going to substitute in the place of x 1, 1 plus 1 is what? 2. Here, the value I got it as x equal to 1. And one more term I am going to write here. x plus 2 equal to 5. What? x plus 2 equal to 5. Then what is the value here? 3 plus 2 equal to 5. Then what the value of x? Here, x value is 1. Here, x value is 3. So, are they fixed any value here? Is it possible to tell x is always having 1 only sir, x is always having 3 only? No. It's depend upon the equation, variables values are going to change. What? Variables are values are going to change depend upon the equation. Here x equal to 1, here x equal to 3. Depend upon the equation, variables are going to, values are going to change. Variables, values are going to change. Now come to the constants. Constants is having fixed value. What? Constant is having fixed value. Listen. Here 1. 1 job. Yes. 
it's always fixed value only or otherwise if someone has asked to give one rupees you people are giving hundred rupees no it's not possible one is having one only that's having fixed value it cannot change any equation it may be here it may be here one is one only wherever you can use so those are called as constants understood now what is the difference between variables and constant variables are variables values are going to change uh, depend upon the equation depend upon the equation values are changed here one here three so those are called as variables and here constants are having fixed value constants are having fixed value and these are the basic operations plus minus and expression expression means combination of variable constant and basic operation it's not having any equal to only variable constant and basic operation so that is called as expression and now come to the equation equation means it's having the equal to sign equal to some term it's having ah one more one more thing you listen you hear na so what is that term so now this one is called as term one term two term three term four term so in that way we can say that this is a term one term two term three Understood? So these are called as terms. Term 1, term 2, term 3. So now what we learned? Variables, constant, basic operations, expression, equation and term. Now we will further move now. So means uh, further concept. So here first of all we learn that variables and constants and expression next what equation variables constants expression equation so this much we discuss now now come to, uh, goes to the next concept if 2x plus 3 equal to 0 this is the expression or equation as it's a equation and here whatever the terms are there means uh, constant terms are there that is called as numerical coefficient or otherwise in the in here they called only con, uh, coefficients or otherwise you can say that numerical coefficient here x numerical coefficient is 2 x numerical coefficient is 2 and if I used 3, uh, only only y is there, y plus 4 equal to 3. Then what is the coefficient of y? Nothing. No, nothing means here 1, always it's here 1. So y numerical coefficient is 1. So what we discussed, coefficient. Next term. So coefficient is over. And here, variable, constant, expression, equation, and coefficient. One more thing. Uh, expression just uh, means, uh, just recall the fraction part. Fraction part what? Like fraction, unlike fraction. Same way, you discussed in algebra section in 7 standard, 6 standard. Like variables, unlike variables. So, what it means by like variables then? Like variables means... The variable, it's a variable is also same and its power means exponent is also same. That is called it as like variables. The group of that variables is called as like variables. That uh, variable means that alphabet is also same. And along with that, that exponent, that power is also same. Then only we can say that like variables. If Powers are, uh, uh, powers are not different at all, uh, means not same at all, then it's unlike variable. Or otherwise, if powers are same, variables are different, then it's unlike variable. Yes? So, why I told like variable means, unlike variable means, in the expression, means in the equation, in the equation, before going to solve the equation, we should know that what it means by like variable and unlike variable. Yeah. 
like variable like variable means kya just listen x kya if x square is there x square my uh, 4x square and minus 3x square it should be listen x x x 2 2 variable is also same and the exponent is also same variables uh, variable is also same exponent is also same then we can say that these group of terms are called it as like variables and unlike variables means if it's a different then it's unlike variable means uh, x square x and x cube these all are unlike variables and uh, one more doubt is there na so what is that doubt if coefficients are same no it's not depend upon any coefficient at all only variable and their what exponent or power should be same then only we can say that the given terms are the like variables if like variables are there we can do the addition and subtraction we should know that if like variables are there then only we can do the addition and subtraction example 3x plus 4x 3x plus 4x is how much we should add the coefficient 3 plus 4 is 7x we can add here and if it is 3x minus 4x square is it possible no because these are these variables are unlike variable unlike variable terms are not possible to do add and subtract just keep as it is that's it so this is like variables on special character means special property so these are the basic things this the, so this much we learned in uh, previous standard previous standard means 7th 6th we learned this so based on this only this one linear equation linear equation in one variable so what it mean by linear linear just recall so know the linear means one more term is there i told that here so what it called x square what it called this is in uh, just uh, see in exponent chapter this is base and this is power yeah exponent this is base this is power or exponent here in the algebra section we are going to say that this one as degree degree of that equation degree of that equation linear means that variable degree should be 1 what the variable degree should be 1 that is called as linear equation only i said that linear equation the degree should be 1 that variable degree should be 1 then we can say that given equation is linear equation and one more term is there sir one variable is there one variable means variable should be only one means uh, variables are i said uh, so all alphabets we can say that is a variable so x plus y no two variables x plus y plus 5 two variables example x plus y plus 5 equal to 0 is it a one variable no two variables are there it's not a one variable equation two variables and here just come to here uh, what uh, x plus 5 equal to 0 here only one variable is there so that is called as linear equation in one variable linear equation in one variable means the power or uh, the degree of the variable is 1 and the equation is containing only one variable the equation is containing only one variable and the power the degree of that equation is what 1 the degree of that equation is 1 and uh, sir you said that variable means only one variable it containing then we can say that one variable linear equation in one variable if it's a 2x plus 3x 
plus phi equal to zero, then it's a linear equation in one variable or what it is. Here variable are two. What it is? Only one variable is there. Nay, x x same variables are there. I told that if it's having different variable, different variable, then we can't say that this is one variable equation. Here, these are the like variables, sir. So yes or no? Yes, these two are the like variables. So what I said the definition of like variable? Variable is same and their degree, exponent, power is also same. Then we can say that those two terms are a like variables. Like variables, we can do addition and subtraction. Do it here. Two x plus three x is what? It's a five x. 5x plus 5 equal to 0. 5x plus 5 equal to 0. This is a linear equation in one variable. Linear equation in one variable. So, what is the chapter name? Linear equations in one variable. 5x plus 5 equal to 0. And what I say? This variable value is not fixed at all. It may change depend upon the equation. Depend upon the equation, the value is going to change. So that's why the value is not fixed at all. I said the value, x value I said. But here we can say that that is a root or solution. Root or a solution. If I substitute here x, x what? x, uh, phi x. So x equal to we got it here. here. Phi is there and this is a. Uh, phi x equal to minus 1 just substitute x equal to minus 1 there phi minus 1 plus phi equal to 0 and this is minus phi plus phi equal to 0 plus phi minus phi get cancelled 0 we got it yes na so then what is the value of x x value is minus 1 or x root is minus 1 or x solution is minus 1 understood Directly I wrote, nah, yeah. x value minus 1, directly I wrote, I have not done anything at all. Directly I thought and me, so I, so I thought and uh, in a different way, so x equal to minus 1, directly I wrote. But you have some steps, some methods, how to find out the x root, how to find out the x root and how to find out the x value, some methods are there. So, that methods we can discuss on next part. Understood now? So, today what we discussed, basic part of the linear equation in one variable. That is, what it mean by variable, what it mean by constants, what it mean by expressions, what it mean by equation, what it mean by coefficient, what it mean by like variable, what it mean by linear equation in one variable. So, this much we discussed. Remember, these are the basic like uh, uh, equations. Equations, basic pillars. So these some concepts are the basic pillars. And uh, in some students are thinking that if the power is two, then what we can say? So that further, like quadratic equation, name is a different. Different names are there. Understood? So we are discussing only linear equation in one variable. So that's we learn means. So we discussed up to here. Understood? So further how to find out the solution of the variable how to find out the value of the variable so that's we can discuss on next class understood so be attentive and you have to study more and learn more